friends, it's Sharon here. How are you this morning? Well, this evening, if you're in the USA. Um, lovely to have you join me here for another live on Essential Stencils page. How are you, friends? Jump in and say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to hear from you today in the comments. Oh, I forgot my Essential Stencil apron today, but I'm wearing my I Restore Stuff t-shirt. I'm Sharon from the blog I Restore Stuff and I love to upcycle furniture and home decor. And um, let me just check and see if I can not see any comments just yet, but sometimes they take a little minute to pop up. So, hey Tammy, Tammy's the first commenter today. <laughs> Hi Anna, how are you? Guys, if you are watching the replay, remember that you can comment um, replay and go into the chance of winning an Essential Stencil prize within the 24 hours after we are live. So there's that fun to look forward to. Hi everybody, lovely to see where you're all tuning in from. All over the USA, I'm from Australia and uh, I am just beginning to get a little bit excited about Christmas. I love this time of year. And if you've seen, some of you may have received your Christmas stencils already. Some are still waiting for theirs. Thank you guys so much for your patience um, during this pandemic season, because we all know that there's so much that can go wrong, so much that can waylay things. But Christmas is here at Essential Stencil and you will be, if you've ordered, you will be getting yours very soon. Let me just have a little quick run through. I received all my Christmas stencils from the brand new Christmas set today so i want to just hey everybody thank you so much for jumping on and saying hello just want to do a quick rundown or unboxing <laughs> of some of the stencils that we have in the sets so we've got happy holidays with uh, that's a three-pack set which also has merry christmas and the other one is a season's greetings so you can see that all in there oops it's having a little difficulty focusing there we go Hi Susan, hi Jimmy from rainy Alabama. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us. All right, this is a two pack set. I love these grain sack stripes on the top and bottom of this set. Have yourself a country Christmas. And then of course we've got the lovely tractor and tree being pulled along on the back there. Just if you've just joined us, I'm just going a quick run through the stencils that are available in the Christmas stencil set. We've got a three pack set of these gorgeous toy soldiers. Now they're all just slightly a little bit different. So you'll be able to see those. Any of these you can see on essentialstencil.com. Don't forget to use my code IRESTOREStUFF to get your 10% off. There is this gorgeous one. Can't wait to use this. Now you could use this on a round or on a square kind of signboard. It really wouldn't matter. You know what? I would love to see this on a t-shirt. I wonder if it's too big for a t-shirt. I think that would fit great. I might have to try that, farm fresh Christmas trees. The other one we've got on the back is I'm dreaming of a farmhouse Christmas. So there's that on the back. So that is a two pack set. Hi everyone, Tracy got yours today, but you didn't open them yet, Tracy. Oh, go and open them with me. Uh, this is a three pack set. We've got, oh here, the angel voices with a gorgeous angel on the back. And then there's a peace on earth wreath Oops, focus, wreath uh, sign in the middle there. Oh, a tea towel. Yes, Mary, it would look great on a tea towel. Uh, this is a two pack set. We've got glory to the newborn king. And the other one is wise men still seek him. Um, now these are huge. I love the size of these big ones. And here's another large one here. This is a two pack set as well. Meet me under the mistletoe. How cute is that? And you know, you can re, um, rearrange all the stencils, use different things. You could use a whole different thing. Um, or you could use this mistletoe on something else on a porch board sign or something like that. I'm doing a porch board today, by the way, guys, I've got my board ready, but it's less than five foot, which is what is the recommended size. I just grab, you know, I grab anything that I can work on and I thought it looked, yeah, it looked about the same size. So I had it all prepped and ready when I received my stencils. I got it out to measure it all today and it's not quite gonna fit, but I've got a solution. You know it. Hi, Dorothy. 
Hi, Patty from Florida, where you're having tropical storms at the moment. Stay safe, guys. Sandy can't wait for her stencils to come. They're coming. We've got the snowflake set um, with a three pack set of snowflakes, which I'll show you another purpose for those in just a minute. I'll set them aside. This, guys, I cannot wait to, work, to use this. You can make wrapping paper. Look at this, little Christmas tree designs, snowflake designs. And the third one, uh, you can probably just see it in there. They're little tiny deer head, reindeer heads. So that is going to be so much fun. You can use that for the backing of your sign boards or, um, you know, Christmas tree um, designs on wrapping paper. That will be so much fun. Rhonda got hers too. Exciting. Okay, so then there's the porch board or porch lena sign sets. We've got Glory to the Newborn King right here. There's a great example of how you can use that. And then we've got the Deck the Halls. And then the one I'm going to use today is dun, 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 Joy to the World. So I've kind of pulled it out of its packaging already, but I'll show you that here. There's the example you can see, Joy to the World. Actually, on the Glory to the Newborn King, I was watching, did anyone watch Melissa's Live yesterday? So, hey, and it's Melissa's birthday. Happy birthday, Melissa. Um, big shout out to Melissa Miller from Miller's Rustic Sawmill, whose birthday it is. Happy birthday. So on her live yesterday, she was using this baby Jesus stencil. And I'm thinking, hey, I didn't get a baby Jesus in my stencil collection when I ordered. Where did she get her baby Jesus? Guys, I found out. I probably caught halfway through the live. But I found out it was from this porch sign set. Glory to the newborn king. There's a gorgeous little... Well, it's not so little, it's kind of like about this big, baby Jesus. And she had, did a great live on that yesterday, if you missed it. So, I have my baby Jesus, guys. I'll be doing something with that. All right, on the board, <clears throat> now it all says here, you get a five foot board to do your board on. Five foot by about one foot. Now, if you want to know any of the stencils I'm using today, in the description of the live, I've got a supply list. Even tell you how big you should have your board recommended. Now mine's less than that, so when I measured out my stencils and placed them all on here, because they come in the set <clears throat> like this, with, you know, the J is separate, then you've got, um, oh, there's two extra little pieces too. We've got our O and our Y <clears throat> for joy. So if I was to set them all out like this, I'll show you in a minute, it's not going to quite fit. Joy and then to the is on one little stencil. And then we've got our W by itself, which goes next, then OR, and then LD. And I don't know that you will see this, but I'm about, hang on, let me just flick it down so you can see downward. So I've started the J right at the top here. <clears throat> and as I move down, you'll see, I don't know, it's not quite visible when you do white on white. I'm gonna be painting these red. So. Normally you would just match them all up, butt them up together um, exactly and it will fit on a five foot board but Sharon doesn't measure and so when we get to the end I've got my D hanging off by about this much. So I tried to kind of make it work and what you could do is we could just overlap slightly because you do have a little bit of room there so it could sort of overlap slightly, that might work. However, I thought of an, a different solution. We've got some happy birthdays being said to Melissa there. I hope she watches, I'll have to let her know. We gave her a shout out for her birthday today. She's probably enjoying her birthday. All right, so lining this up again. Uh, what I'm going to do is Turn my, I'll show you this on black so we can kind of see it a little bit better. I'm just going to, for the purpose of just a visual, so you can kind of see what we're doing. So our board is this wide. And what I want to do is place my joy at the top like this. Okay? So I'm going to do joy and then I'm going to do to the and world and, you know, get it all correct down that way. So what I'd like to do is first of all start with... And you'll notice that the J and the O kind of have 
a similar finishing line, but the Y, when we put the Y up, that line here is going to have to line up with the J and the top of the O, and this line is going to extend out. So we don't want to start our J up too high if we do it this way. And my board is approximately, um, now it's less, I mean, it's more than the one foot that I would recommend or I recommended in the supply list, 16 inches. It's a little bit more than 16 inches. <clears throat> okay, so our Y extends up the top there. We've got a little bit of space now because we're not doing the joy the way, all the way down like this. So see how you can just kind of mix and match up your letters. I'm only placing this black board here so that you can see the lettering because white on white is not very clear. So instead of putting the J-O up here because that Y then will come off the end of my board almost, I'm going to start with doing the Y and then I'm going to place my J because the O, the Y is wider and so the O is not going to be exactly centre. Normally when I'm trying to space letters out, I'll, and if it was three, I would start with the letter in the centre and make that central. But because the Y is quite a lot wider than the J, it extends out further, it's not going to make it centre. So I'll start with these, put them on the outside. <clears throat> um, and I'm, I'll just see what snowflakes... Hang on, um, I need to come down further, don't I? Sorry, guys. I need to uh, just watch my snowflakes and... Are these snowflakes too? Little balls that are glistening. <laughs> they can be raindrops or snowflakes, whatever you'd like them to be. Uh, Maggie says, how big is the board? This one's less than five foot, but the recommendations are five foot for a board porch, um, for any of the porch stencils. So I'll need my tape. There's the top of my board. Um, I'll start with that Y. Put the J, I may have to, I'm just going to have to see if I've got room for my O if I leave this little snowflake here or if we might have to move the J over slightly to fit the O right here. So let me just put my finger where the Y ends there and have a think about, yep, that will fit perfectly. So I might just leave that snowflake off and I'll shift it and do it over here later. All right, so starting with that Y, I've got it in around about the right spot that I would like it. And then for the rest of the sign, I'll start from the bottom up and kind of measure how to do that. So if you've been wondering how to do these porch board signs, here's one way that you can do it. So I'm going to be taping this to my whiteboard. I'll shift these now and you will be able to see it eventually. Uh, do we need that snowflake there or not? Okay, I could even do this O here, but I might have to leave the snowflakes off until last just to make sure we've got all our <coughs> letters working for us. Okay, I'm eyeballing it again, guys, but you can get your rulers out and measure and straighten and make sure they're all in the right place. So if I start with my outside letters and then just making sure that you've got enough room for that O there and I'm lining the top of the J up with the top of the left hand uh, side of the Y. And this, I want to leave a little bit of space here so I'm going to leave out the snowflake for now. Oops, what I want to do, it's got a little bit of room on the bottom of that J. So remember when we've got Letters that are close to the edge of the stencils, you want to tape off there so you don't get that on your board. And I might do that a little bit here. It's not too close on this one, but just to make sure. And um, I think we're good to go with that. All right. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you in this set is that we've got two extra little um, extra stencils that you can use for so many different things. So there's a Christmas bauble and a poinsettia leaf. And I wanted to remind you too that we have the snowflake pack that is similar sizing and you could use any of these to replace the O in your joy or in the word world. You can replace that with the um, bauble in, you know, you could make it J-O-Y like this. Oh, in fact, I do like that. Hmm, we might do that. That would be fun. Joy to the world, you could use that or you could use some of the snowflakes to make the O. So I love that you can 
mix and match things around. So we might do that, but I have to remove it for now. And I'm going to be using the color red. Now I'm just using some acrylic um, water-based furniture paint. This is fusion mineral paint. I did forget to get my, my trusty paper to just offload. All right, now um, let's just use this. We, the essential stencil, stencil brushes are back in stock. So grab a hold of yours. Uh, if you're ordering something today, if you've been waiting for those, they are in stock. You can see I've used this paper before. All right, just using my stencil brush, offloading the stencil as much as I can. And I want to um, experiment with these little, see it's kind of got that 3D look on these letters with um, a bit of shadowing around the outside. So um, I'm going to be trying a little bit of something with that later on. But for right now, we're just coloring it all in, coloring in. So just using a swirly kind of motion on those lines, you can kind of go you know, in the direction of the lines, just as long as you're not going back and forth because you don't want the paint to go underneath the stencils. Now, I do have a snowflake here, but I'm going to skip that out just to make sure I've got room for that O to go across because normally if you're doing this on a, a five foot board, you can do the J, O, Y and the rest of the words all down there. But we're doing it a little differently today. So I've measured my J is around about in line with that. And I'm going to put my J in. And once again, I'm just going to leave the snowflakes and the little baubles, little dots for now. This is the color cranberry fusion mineral paint, if you were wondering about that. And this snowflake, like I mentioned before, is just kind of coming off the edge. So I love these letters. They've got that 3D looking shadow around the outside. And I want to try something later, just using either a Sharpie to just go around that shadow part in black, or even just using my makeup wedges, makeup sponge wedges, and just um, dabbing that to just create that shadow effect on there. So stay tuned for that bit. Also, don't forget guys, we always give away prizes at the end of our live to three lucky winners. Okay, I'm going to remove that now. Just need to move some of this, some of these stencils. If you missed the, uh, the start of the live, I showed you some of the stencils that are in the stencil set, the new Christmas stencils. There's the J and the Y. Now uh, you could line up your O right there in the center, but I'm going to line up this Christmas bauble and make that the O. So it just has to be around about. As long as it's in the center, I think we're good. My board is a little bit wobbly. Okay. Yeah, someone just said your letters are so crisp. It's because I offload as much as I can, but I do notice I've got a tiny little bleed mark right there, but it won't be noticeable from a fair distance away. Now, what I'm going to do is color the whole thing, this whole bauble, with the red. And then you can go over it afterwards, but at least I've got like a bit of a base down. Now, just be careful. These, it's got really thin little lines right here. So any thin lines you see on the stencils, you just got to be really gentle with them to make sure that uh, you're not going to move them and therefore get paint underneath, underneath the stencil. So just being careful to do that really gently. And sometimes I'll just um, 
pounce it down and then smush it a little bit so you're not rubbing it back and forth but it's wiggling it so that it's not quite going to move anything that might have the tendency to move, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Yes, those are called, these are called bridges and the bridges are so that it can actually be a stencil. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to stencil because you would have big gaps in your letters. And you can always fill in those bridges if you wanted to or just leave them so you can see the little, where the bridge was in the Y. You could take a little paintbrush and just touch that up quite easily. But without the bridges there wouldn't be stencils because they're kind of necessary to <clears throat> create the individual letters. All right, there's the ball. And so you could go, I'll let that dry, and you could go back, then back over it again and do some um, colour and some features. I've got some metallics here that I want to have a little play with, with the snowflakes and things. So then I could go on um, around the Y and add my little snowflake in down here and just add them in random places. So I'm just going to hold that down with my hand. So if I, I want to do some metallics over these snowflakes in a little bit, but to just get this base on first will be a good, um, it'll help the metallics to pop. So I'll go back over those later and we've got some little dots here that will be cute. We can go over those with our metallic in a minute. I'm trying to decide between copper and the <coughs> vintage gold that I have. Let's see what we've got on the J stencil. Here's our snowflake up here. We'll just pop it up in there. Holding it really steady and smushing it around. So don't be worried that we've got it all the one colour at the moment. There's a little dot there. Let's pop this one down here. Where is it? About there. Hmm. Okay, so we've got our joy. I'm going to have to have a big cleaning session later for all of these stencils. Now it's time to, I'm just going to pop this in a wet cloth so that it doesn't dry out. Uh, now it's time to move my board down slightly. So see that uh, J-O-Y there? I'll hold it up a little higher. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> so you can see those lines on there. So we've got joy. So I might work, I'll line them all up first. I was going to work from the bottom, but we'll see. If I line up the L and the D, because I don't want a too, too big a gap anywhere, so just lining up those and I might just tape them all down because the rest are going to just tape down. So see how we've got um, world there, but we've got a big, quite a big gap here between the joy and the word world. So I, don't, I think I'd like this to move up slightly. What I would rather have is I'd rather have more room at the very base of the board. So when it's standing up or leaning on your porch, you've got room there. If you want to put a little plant beside it, you might want a little poinsettia pot or something which would go beautifully with this sign. You've got room down on that base then to put something in front of it. Because often when you see porch board signs, if they go all the way to the bottom, there's not room enough to sort of decorate around them, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Hi, Dana. She's having a conversation there. How's everyone doing tonight? Great question. Hope everybody's doing well. So I'm going to just move everything up slightly. I'm going to shift my W. So lay it all out before you go to put it, you know, actually fill it all out. So that leaves me a little bit of a gap down the bottom which you'll see eventually. Uh, let me see if I can shift this across. So that'll leave about this much of a gap down the bottom which is okay for a porch board sign and that's going to be your base. See then you can sit a little pot down at the base and it's not going to cover up your sign so much and you can kind of probably see it from the road a bit better too. So let's start with 
the we've done joy and I've done it across if you missed the first part of the live joy usually goes down like this with the rest of the words following but my board is slightly shorter than the recommended five foot board so I just thought that would be a good solution just um, putting the joy across instead of down okay what I was going to do was tape this first so I'm just going to grab some of this tape that I used for my J and remembering if there are any bits on your stencil that are close to the edge like this T for the make sure you're taping right there there's a little dot right here now I'm going to continue with those um, with those dots wherever I see them I'm just going to continue and put those on so to the doesn't have to be joined really close to the word world but I'm putting those ones a lot closer together so let's see up on the W there's a little bit of a close edge there and this one I'll pop that down the bottom this W because I've got a gap here between the two stencils I'm going to make that one a lot longer because that W is very close to the edge there and so we want to make sure that's covered so that that doesn't get wrecked with our stencils and then we've got the R over here same thing I don't want to go into that line and have this weird looking line all right so hopefully I've got enough sort of either side and it's fairly centered I think we're doing okay oh. I think it's kind of a bit let's see just need to slightly move it if you get it and you and you think you're right just eyeball it again making sure you could get your ruler out and measure it all up um, all right I think we are good to go so it might be easier if I stand up to do this so I'm just going to do that We've got our little holly berries. No, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> All right. Um, just looking for questions and things as I go here. So Essential Stencil has pinned the post of the supplies and things to the top of the comments there. So you can see them there as well. They're also in the description of the live. And don't forget to use the code. I restore stuff to get 10% off any of these stencils that you see today. In fact, any of the stencils on Essential Stencils website essentialstencil.com and if you're still waiting for your Christmas stencils that you've ordered they are coming ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> thanks so much for your patience joy to the world who wants to sing right now gosh I feel like I should have Christmas music playing in the background I was about to do that but my phone's being used for this camera right here and I was all set up and um to play the music we've got one of those Sonos speakers that kind of hooks up to an app and you play it from the app so it's not a matter of just going over to the thing and pressing play these days is it got apps for everything <clears throat> okie doke so trying to decide between I've got a copper a copper metallic I'm thinking about my snowflakes and stars and etc a little bit of bling on this stencil or a vintage gold so let me know in the comments what should we do copper or vintage gold for the snowflakes and the little dots I'm doing them all in just this red as a base for now so <clears throat> yeah, I'll go over them with the metallic paint when I'm finished the red parts I'd love to know your thoughts about vintage gold or copper oops I'm very close to that edge here don't want to get red on the board where it's not supposed to be this board is quite rustic it's one of those that um, I don't even know someone I found it somewhere it might have even been at our local recycle center which is like the rubbish tip what do you call that the dump we call it the rubbish tip or the dump here in Australia so they all have all sorts of things and so some have recycled timbers and things there so often I'll get things 
from there and it was just all uh, ratty and I sanded it off um, so it's quite weathered but I painted it white and I thought it'll look great for a one of these porch board signs sign boards it's good when you don't have to buy new stuff and you can recycle old woods let me see is anyone commenting on vintage gold or copper vintage gold vintage gold vintage gold copper well, it looks like vintage gold might be winning. Someone else said they love copper too. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of going back and forth along those stripy bits and a combination of that and swirling. Now these big bits, oh, there's another little dot. I to get that. <coughs> um, the larger areas, you know, you can afford to maybe not rub off so much on the paper and just keep a bit on your brush and just going back and forth on those longer bits you don't need as much swirling so who's put up their tree already or are we still waiting for after thanksgiving what are you guys doing there's still lots for vintage gold a few for copper some people still waiting till after Thanksgiving to put up their tree. We put up our tree this week. We're a little bit excited in this house. We get, it, we get started early with Christmas. As soon as my daughter's birthday is finished in October, we're kind of like, all right, that's next event. <laughs> next event for us here in Australia is Christmas because we don't have Thanksgiving here. Um, all right, can you see? Yep, I'm still in the shot. Just making sure we're all good. Sorry, I'll, I'll try and jump up and look at comments every now and then. Yes, Mary's waiting for after Thanksgiving to put up her Christmas decor. So yeah, there's still some um, great Thanksgiving and fall stencils available in the Essential Stencil online shop also. So if you think you're too late for this fall, grab them for the next fall because you never know. You might want to get in a, early ahead of time next year for decorating or sign making. Some of you I know in the Stencil of the Month Club uh, make signs for, your, for um, your vintage booths and things like that. So I'm using the 7 8 inch Essential Stencil brush and that's also in the supply list up there in the comments and also in the description of the live. You can check that out later. Okay, this if you've just joined us, we're doing the Joy to the World porch board with a little bit of a difference because I did the um, Joy a bit different at the top. Instead of going downwards, I did Joy going across. Only because my board's a bit shorter than the recommended five foot board. A couple of inches short. Tony found a holographic gold and silver paint at Target and now you can't wait to use it on something. That sounds great for Christmas. Um, those metallics are really beautiful at Christmas time. Oops, I think I had a little bit too much on my brush. Well, I hope I don't get any bleeding in there. A little bleeding under is what we call it, under the stencil. Just being careful with those bridgy bits. Now these are the 3D looking letters, which you guys are loving. And um, I've seen a couple of people have said, we want Essential to make a whole alphabet set in these 3D letters. Hmm, great idea. All right, we nearly finished our R. Two more letters to go, and then I want to show you how I can. So these ones will be dry by then up here, and I can go over with the metallic. And it doesn't matter if it kind of mixes in that red that's on the side. My, this is furniture paint, and it dries super quick. So um, 
Let's just move that along. Oh, what have I got here? <clears throat> so if you've just joined us, I have left a bit of a gap down the bottom here because I'd rather have it up further than too close to the bottom leaving some room for some of you you know your porch decor you might want to put a little pot a plant or something on the ground next to the porch board sign and when you do that sometimes it covers up the letters so having the letters just a little bit higher on your porch board i think is a great idea Just thinking about using that wrapping paper stencil. I can't wait to use that. Got some good ideas for that one. And another favorite, I think, let me know what your favorites are in the new Christmas stencils. Um, the other favorite I think I can't wait to use is the little Nutcracker soldiers, set of three. Can you imagine those all three standing together on some boards? Great walls, great wall signs. Three canvases, three of those long canvases of the same would look cute. That and the wrapping paper things. Some of these little snowflakes that are on here, you could also use those for wrapping paper ideas. Oh yeah, there is snowflakes on the wrapping paper one. Here it is. If you missed that before, wrapping paper, um, well that's what I call it, stencil with all these repeat, it's a pattern stencil really, it would be in the pattern selection collection. So there's Christmas trees, um, snowflakes, and then we've got the little deer head in the center there as well. So that's a three piece set, which is fun. Okay, we're on to the D guys. Someone else says they wait for after Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> Diane says, my favorite is every one of them. I know what you mean. Um, the stenciling and sign making thing, it's just so much fun. You just feel so creative. You get a lot of our creative juices flowing. And if you haven't joined the Stencil of the Month Club yet, they, you know, use my code, I restore stuff, get you 50% off your first month. Uh, so much fun in there that you get to join their Facebook group. A great bunch of people in there in the Facebook community um, with so many fun ideas, not just for the Stencil of the Month Club stencils, but all of these stencils too. You get to see everybody's great inspiration. That's worth it just right there to join. But you obviously you get a set of three stencils every month. They're big too, they're not just like little stencils. It's a set of three big ones. They all coordinate with each other, usually around a theme. Whatever's going on that month. All right, I'll wrap that in my cloth again in case I need to use it again. But here, let's go, we'll take off our... Oh no, I was gonna do the metallics first. Don't take it off yet, because it's a lot easier to do those when we've got them there. Um, and I think consensus says we go for the vintage gold metallic. So what I want to do is get a, it's a gorgeous kind of, it is, that's the only way you can describe that really, isn't it? Vintage gold. It's not a bright sparkly gold. It's really nice and vintage. <clears throat> so what I want to do first is add that and you know, you're gonna see, possibly gonna see some of the red around the edges of the snowflake and the baubles where I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, let's see, I want a little tiny brush. Tiny essential stencil brush, it's the half inch brush. And I do need my paper. A little bit on my brush. And when I'm rubbing it on the paper, I'm actually working it into the ends of the bristles as well. So let's see how that goes. And we're gonna start with just doing it on the little baubles and on the snowflakes and seeing if that kind of creates a bit of a pop of that color. 
super quick and easy because we've already got that red in the background. It actually helps some of these metallic paints. They have, um, they're highly pigmented and they can be a little bit translucent. So if I was to just paint that straight on the white, it might not stand out as much, but with that red in the back underneath it, it gives it a bit of depth. So. Didn't miss any. So this is a super quick and easy way to do it. Now the other thing I want to try and do when I've done this is going around those um, 3D edges with some kind of a dark colour. Maybe I could even do that with the metallic. Hmm, that might work. To kind of make that pop a bit. But I do have a dark grey or a sharpie, something like that, that might make the um, 3D lines stand out. All right, I'm ready to have a little peek. I may need a second coat. I'm going to have to do this up there with the joy to the world as well. But let's just see how that's going so far, shall we? Let's take the bottom one off here. So you can see that it, it does have a bit of depth to it. It is slightly a different colour. And obviously you, you can't tell as much on the... It's actually got a rose gold. I like that. It's got a rose gold look about it because it's um, got red underneath it. So that's kind of cool. I like that. So deep red underneath your vintage gold can create a bit of a rose gold effect. Okay, I'm going to do this little snowflake up here. Uh, let's see, we should actually make those green, but I'm going to go for the antique gold on the leaves of these, this holly berry. And not even trying to colour it all in, I just want to give a little bit of a bling to that outside just to make it look a little bit different. I'll leave the berries red. And so I'm just kind of going roughly over it. My board is very wobbly. There we go. And then I'll grab my Joy letters. So the Y over here we had this little snowflake. Just pop that on there. See if I can get it in exactly the right spot. So it's not too hard if you've lifted up your stencils to try and find where it was again. Hope you're enjoying this um, demo. Katarina says, I'd love to do some more porch board sign stencils. Yeah, lots of fun. And so on the back of this whole board, you can do another one. You know, you can rotate them for different seasons. You could, the what is another really popular, one of the pop, most popular porch board sign is the welcome. So if you don't have the welcome already, you know, you could do your Christmas one on one side and the welcome on another side so that when it's not Christmas, You've still got a front porch sign that's very welcoming. All right, I think, who, need, who thinks we need to put some bling on the bauble here as well? So we won't forget about that. Um, there we go. Jay, we've had a little couple of little spots here. Now snowflake, lining that up exactly. Oh, there we go. No, <laughs> it's a bit tricky. There we go. I think we've got it, guys. Okay, don't forget if you're watching the replay, comment replay and you could win Essential Stencil prize within 24 hours of the live here today. And if you're watching it live, Stay tuned because we always give away prizes at the end to three lucky winners. 
On this bauble, I think I'll create um, some kind of bling on it. I'm not sure where we'll go, hey? Maybe these stripes across here, just to add a bit of... Now probably I would do better if I um, taped that off, but I'm just going to try and be really careful. How about that? <laughs> Says Sharon. I could try and be really careful. Okay, Deborah's asked what size board I'm using. The recommended size for these porch boards is five foot. But um, I was just using a board that I found. And so it's a bit less than that, about two inches too short. So that's why I've done the joy across this way and not down this way. So. I'm just trying to be really careful not to get my gold, uh, the vintage gold over the other side of these bridges that are kind of separating this stripe. I'm not doing too badly, but um, you could take that off if you really wanted to. If it was dry. It just seems to me that it would be very tricky to try and take that. So it doesn't matter if it has some little bling on the other side of it. We're just going to go with that. All right, one more little bit of bling up on the top, you know, where they have the little hanger thing. I think that needs to be vintage gold metallic as well. You could do any kind of metallic over this. So let's see, a little stand back. I've got to see, make sure I've got all the things. Um, I'll take the ball off there. So see how it's just, oops, of course you can't see. See, there we go. So I've got that in the center there and it sort of looks a little bit more rose gold in that part right in there. And these little snowflakes and things are gonna look a little bit more rose gold. Here's a little look at the To That World because that doesn't have the 3D letters on there. So um, just wanted to have a look and see if we could try. I might use my makeup sponge and this metallic. Just wanna have a little experiment with this. And my paper. And I want to just go around, see these little parts that are creating the shadow. And I'm going to just see if I can bling those up a bit. Hmm, I'm going to make sure I use a little bit more paint. So the makeup sponge is helping me to not go outside the lines too much, I think. But it could be easier to use my stencil brush now that I'm trying it. I feel like it's not allowing me to have enough on the brush, but try a couple of different ways, guys. And just always, if you're worried about making a mistake, you can always just um, practice on your paper first. So I've got this bridge here, so I'm just being really careful not to go over the top of that bridge. And I'm just following along that 3D line there. So this could get tricky. And it could take some time. I just wanted to see what that looks like. So we'll have a look at the W and then decide whether I do it for the rest. I'll have to, won't I? I've started now. Okay, so that little bit there is going to be a bit tricky because it's right in the corner. And ah, I'm just going to have to be super careful to not get it on the other parts of the W because this one's right in a corner. Okay, let's see if we can go there again. I always seem to do these things that got the work cut out for me, haven't I? Okay, going downwards here, a little bit up there. Whoop. The other thing I said, you could use a gold pen. I could use a black Sharpie or a different color paint, but I'm going with that vintage gold just to see how that might look. Um, again, like I said, experiment on a piece of cardboard or something else. Oh, getting too close to that other one. All right, I'm ready to just show you the W and um, I can do the rest later, but I just wanted to show you that effect to see if that works. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. It's a little hair right there, but I think I like that. It kind of gives, you probably can't see it as well right there with that 
um, that view and I'll finish off the rest later but it gives a little bit of metallic to that outside. I'll see if I can lift it up a bit higher towards the phone. As I, am I getting that in the shot? Let's see, there's the W right there. Can you see that? So you can just see a slight difference where the vintage gold is on that metallic on the W. Sorry it's sideways, but this board is kind of heavy. All right, let me get, change my view here so that you can see that a little bit further. Hmm. Here to our finished look. So I've used the joy to the world. Now remember, if you've just joined me, I instead of going joy downwards, my board was about two inches too short. So I've left a little bit of a gap on the bottom for say you want to put a pot down on your um, porch next to your board. You've got joy at the top using the Christmas bauble as the center or they've got the poinsettia you can change it out for, or you can use one of the snowflakes that come in the snowflake set. Now that is also in the supplies list. And I've used, just used a little bit of vintage gold to add on top of the red. So just a recap of what I've done there. So I went with the joy going across instead of down. And then laying out all your letters, and I think we've got a winner to pick. So guys, three lucky winners are about to win. Um, an essential stencil prize. So, dun, 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 drum roll. And um, hey, sorry guys, I'm just going to check who the winners might be. Yeah, and if there's any more questions, guys, let me know in the comments because I always love to go back and let's see if I can pop that over here so you can see. I always like to go back um, after the live and just kind of see who's got a question or anything. So, Let's wait for Essential Stencil to put our winners up and see who those lucky people are. Now, if you win today, don't forget to send an email to support at essentialstencil.com to claim your prize. Let them know your details. And uh, <laughs> Dahlia says, seems strange to always see you in shorts. Yes, because we're on the other side of the world here in Australia, down under, and it is getting close to summertime. So, yep, short t-shirts, shorts. Um, Yes, Connie says the gold accents are great. Yeah, I love it too. All right, getting ready for our winners. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Katarina. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's our sign that we made today behind me. And um, we will say congratulations to the winners, which I don't see on my screen just yet, but you might. So tag a friend if, if you know who that was. Um, yeah, the joy does look good at the top. Thank you. The uh, Victoria says, yes, the gold was a nice extra touch to that stencil. Love it. Yep. Have to get the shadow stencil for the alphabet letters. Yes. You keep asking. They might listen. Um, there might be some new stencils in the new year. Who knows? Congratulations to the winners. I'm still not seeing them on my little feed here, but I want to give you a big shout out and congratulations. Usually Essential Stencil is very good at tagging you. So if you're a winner today, you will be tagged in there. Yeah, Rhonda says, I can't imagine it being that warm for Christmas. Absolutely. Some of our Christmas days are the hottest days of the year, obviously, because it's like right in the middle of summer, whereas you guys, it's the coldest. So for us singing songs like Winter Wonderland and, um, you know, and all the snow songs, it, we've grown up with listening to them. But, you know, when you think about it, it's like, that's kind of crazy here because we're summer in the middle of Winter. Rebecca's asking what colours I used. I used Fusion's Cranberry for the red, for the burgundy, and then I used the metallic vintage gold for the... If you're in Australia, you can get these from my website at irisstorestuff.com. Um, we even have samples, little tiny pot sizes in these that, man, you don't need very much. You really only need a tiny bit. So congratulations, winners. I am not seeing them, so um, I will have to leave it at that I think but I am sure that Essential has pinned them there it's just my view it's not showing them on here so congratulations to all you winners I will jump on the live when it's finished and go and say congrats to you guys but thank you so much for watching today and I'll join you um, join me next week here on Essential Stencils page for another fun will we do Christmas or will we do something else I don't know I'm liking that wrapping paper though and the toy soldiers if you can if you can let me wait till that long before next week before I use them because I'm getting pretty excited and keen to use them. All right, I can see the winners now. Ro um, Rose Wood, Deborah Grimes and Karen Galbraith. 
Congratulations to all of you. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you're watching the replay, comment replay, uh, and you will have a chance in the next 24 hours to win a prize too. Find me over at irestorestuff.com or uh, irestorestuff on Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, and Instagram. We'd love to see you there. Bye.